Hello and welcome to the Overly Animated Podcast, where we take animation seriously. We talk everything animation here, including Miraculous Ladybug, which we'll be getting into right now. I'm Dylan Heisen, and today I'm joined by Delaney Stovall. Hey, y'all. And April Collins. Hi there. We're back again just two days after the previous Ladybug podcast. Yay, the show's really scheduled to talk the latest episode, Time Tagger, which aired in Switzerland in French. We're talking the French version of this episode, Time Tagger, here on the Overly Animated podcast. Find us at OverlyAnimated.com. We talk Ladybug every new episode here. Um, also, on subscribe on iTunes. Look for our Miraculous Ladybug specific feed. Search for that on iTunes. And also, our YouTube is YouTube.com slash Overly Animated. Subscribe any of those places to not miss our future Ladybug podcasts. Um, yeah, check out our Miraculous podcast that went up a few days ago at OverlyAnimated.com. That was a good discussion. We'll also get Delaney's takes on Miraculous here. And then we've got another big episode to get into uh, with Time Tagger. Uh, so make sure you've seen this episode. Spoilers for Time Tagger and all previous Miraculous Ladybug episodes. Delaney, what are your overall takes on Time Tagger? Time Tagger was really good. So, like, there are so many elements in this episode that I like. Like, there's a lot of callbacks. And then we literally, like, we got we get to see the future. And we see future Alex. Oh, my God. And we get to see the super cute bunny Miraculous, which is just adorable. And Fluff, I think, was Fluff. The yeah, bunny's fluff. name, yeah. Um, poor Fluff is crazy, and Fluff needs probably need to, needs to be on some medication, and that's okay. <laughs> but um, I really love this episode. I loved the design of the villain. But so my the, the biggest thing that I liked about the episode, or the thing I most liked, was so I love like you know we talk about we love the mythology in the show, and we don't get a lot of it. But what I really like you know, is that it's a superhero show and I love when they get into like superhero stuff. So I just really like this whole, like they're superheroes and there's still few superheroes in the future and they're adults. And like, they're like, it's just like, I just love stuff like that. And I really loved uh, like, you know, Oh, you're the team leader. Like, Oh, this is good stuff. I like what, where we're going. Not that I ever think we're actually going to see them as adults, but it was nice to get this like 10 second thing that I just super cute. Yeah. Love it. And we got an, oh, and the other, so we had callbacks to when Alex was a villain. I don't remember what her name was. Yeah, in uh, Time Breaker. Right. Like oh, that was yeah. another, again, another time related episode. So that was really cool that they did that. And now Alex is going to end up with the Time Miraculous. And then, uh, which we'd got, we've seen the watch before, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. I, yeah. I didn't really remember it, but in that episode, the watch is like broken. And that's what gets Alex upset in Time yeah. Breaker. Yeah, I remember that. And then, oh yeah, because it just broke. Oh, I loved the callback to, uh, like the whole, going back to we when we first learned about the history of Ladybug. You know, it goes all the way back, and then we went to what's the oldest thing in the museum. I thought they were going to do something like with Ladybug specifically, but it was I was not expecting there to be a person. So that was good. A, per- a person was just <laughs> in person the Louvre this whole time, was right there, just hanging out. Apparently. <laughs> Yeah, also, also kind of a uh, the 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 pharaoh, yeah, pharaoh, uh, right? Reference a little, a little bit, yeah. To, so that was nice to see. Um, okay, Delaney likes the episode. April, what do you think of Time Tiger? Um, this episode was a lot. <laughs> what and else is new? Yeah, like is this I your mean, first Ladybug episode? <laughs> like? um, it is. Uh, haven't seen a single episode ever. Um, I liked this episode. There was a lot of, I guess, like moving parts, and I fell a little bit behind in some things. But I, um, I loved that. Like, you know, we, we got to know like there's still superheroes in the future, and I agree with Delaney. We're never gonna see that unless we get to like season like 25. forty. For, no, it'll no, be like uh, 40. adult <laughs> gritty spinoff of them as adults. No. In all honesty, though, I would watch it. Obviously, I would watch great. it too. <laughs> It would be amazing. Um, I love that, like, uh, chat's like, what What are me and Ladybug like in the future? Like, are we together? And, and he uh, makes a heart. Wow. Yeah, he <laughs> makes a heart. He's so dumb. Like, that's so great. And then I love that, like, Hawk Moth, like, has a complex because he's apparently not, like, Hawk Moth in the future. <laughs> and he's like, I'm a failure. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I deserve guess. deserve Natalie. He really doesn't like, and we, that's right. We got a, a awkward like Natalie uh, Gabriel hug out of this episode, so that's really great. Um, Natalie's the villain hugs are so intense. I need Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie just needs to hug all of us. Um, 
But yeah, I I enjoyed this episode. Uh, older Alex is wonderful. Um, She's great. I would yeah. hang out with older Alex. Me too. Like me and her can be friends. That would be great. We, I guess we also know now that like Alex is going to get the bunny miraculous. Yes, yes. So um, I, I think that's kind of like a cool reveal actually versus like, like I felt like with everyone else, it seemed very obvious, like as the episode was setting right. itself up that like this was going to be that person. And then like out of nowhere. But as soon as I saw her, I was like, wait, is that? Alex in the future like so, so that was good. yeah it was really good so I really liked that kind of reveal versus so now I guess we just need to get to the point where like um out Al- like they actually hand Alex the miraculous though I feel like they're just gonna like skip over it for us because they already revealed it so but it was a good episode I enjoyed it and I guess they're they're saying to me it's oh like so she said you know we only ever get it when you really need me when everybody else has failed. So I guess they are like, we're never going to have everyone all the time. It's just always going to be when she hands them out. Um, we can, we can talk about that. Um, did she, I think, I think that was specific to Bunnix. She was the last resort hero. Um, just because just, like it's damaged, just like the peacock is. Uh, yeah, I'm not. Sh- yeah. I or- think it, it's either cause she's damaged or that's like the, the strategy. She's like the captain Marvel who you only call when you're really right. screwed. So I think it was, I don't know if we actually got more information on, but, it, well, but it, it's very vague. I think so it's I also like her. time travel. So I right. feel like that's super OP. Like, why is she not like, why is it just like Tiki and plug and not like Tiki plug and the bunny fluff? Sorry. Right. Because, like time travel is really like kind of a big deal if you think about it because because even she's like oh well you can't like do things to change the past and i'm like but like that's what you kind of do aren't you here right now <laughs> so we'll, we'll, we'll talk about the time travel mechanics and maybe in this episode. <laughs> maybe not if we <laughs> i feel like everything else is more important but um yeah okay i i love time tagger i think this is one of my favorite episodes this season uh it's like yeah it's like a sequel to one of my favorite season one episodes and i love alex i love uh time travel episodes that don't do too much i guess which i think this is one of them i think um this episode's very contained while being yet very ambitious like 80 percent of the episode takes place in two locations um which i really like i think this episode easily could have been way over complicated way too much happening like i I, they didn't they didn't like it's it's about time travel but like we don't actually time travel except for like when she goes back to see yeah we get like one vague glimpse of of the future yeah. Um, and we get some past like dinosaurs popping up, but yeah, it's, it's, it, it's, yeah, it, it, you get the kind of the benefits of, I feel like a time travel plot with like the, um, complexity in a good way, uh, without some, without it being like way overcomplicated and stuff. And my main criticism in a miracular was that there's like way too much going on. I don't think this episode really has that. I mean, I think there's a lot happening, but I don't think it's similar to miracular, which there's 10 million things to discuss to have, like plot elements. There's like basically five things I've written down. Um, that are the main things from this episode. Um, like it's some complex stuff, but it's pretty contained to a few separate idea to a, a few different ideas, which I think is a really good decision. Um, I, yeah, I think that, uh, Bunnix, uh, is, is really fantastic here. Everything about her and like, uh, the f- teases to the future and, um, is, it's, it's all really fun. Um, I love that this episode is also bookended by nonsensical, um, Hawk Moth stuff, which is the main <laughs> thing I want to talk about because I love, uh, akumatizing, uh, Mr. Ramir like, uh, tw- the 24th time and Hawk Moth has just been, uh, he's been reduced to doing that over and over now he's nothing he's else he's had he's had better luck with the with the baby i mean <laughs> we know that yeah, we were talking about oh it's the millionth time he's akumatized the same baby okay well i guess he's akumatizing everyone in paris a million times because the poor the, Mr. I, it's Pitten. not beneath him to it's akumatize people over and over again yeah so i and then the I, I think the episode also just ties together really well the reveals with uh, mr pigeon at the end and things with um bringing Lila in, I thought it was, like, successful. Uh, you know, I, um, I just... That was, like, a horror movie reveal. I was like, oh, God, who is it? And then <laughs> I, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> it was not okay at all. That's good. We'll talk about Lila. Just, Lila is somehow in every episode now this season. Lila is totally going to be Hawk Moth in the future. Oh, yeah. That's what everyone's Wonder. talking about. We'll see. We'll see if we agree. Um, and uh, I think, yeah, the villain was great. Bunnix was, was great. Uh, Alex. Um, 
Mr. Pigeon's great in this episode. Great Hawkmoth episode. Good Ladybug and Cat stuff. Um, probably my second favorite of the season behind Backwater. I think it's really, really good. Um, let's. I don't. What, what do we think is the? I so I feel like I'm torn between the most important thing from the episode, which is probably Alex and uh, her becoming Bunnix, <laughs> and the thing I most want to talk about on this podcast, which is Hawkmoth akumatizing. We always Mr. start Pigeon. with Hawkmoth. <laughs> Yeah, we, just yeah, talk about we might as well keep to our formula. I think that's what the people with- are most eager to hear us talk about is. <laughs> <laughs> we start this episode, and you know it's a time travel episode. It's called Time Tagger. And then it's like, oh, it's the 24th time that we're battling Mr. Pigeon. And I'm like, oh my god, are they in a time loop? <laughs> with? <laughs> <laughs> but they know they're in a time loop. I was so and eager for this to be... They're keeping count, too. They're, they're keeping like, count. Like, well, I'm watching it, and I'm like... Oh, okay. They're just gonna akumatize Noel again, and then out of nowhere, like so, when he comes in, I was like, "Oh, it's Noel." And then I was like, "Wait a minute!" And I was like, "I don't understand." And then they were like, "Yeah, I'm from the future." And I was like, "Whoa, what?" <laughs> like I was like, "You got way like it was much more like complicated than I first anticipated this episode being." Yeah, we start off really simple with just this uh, Mar- Marinette and Alia scene with uh, Noel. I'm surprised you remembered who Noel was, Delaney, because he's a different name in English. He's Chris, um, but uh, oh, yeah, he's I, the Chris master. He's the Chris master. I was very confused because he's just Noel in French. Um, like I remembered him. I was like, yeah, he's a, he's that dumb kid. He's yeah, Nino's brother. <laughs> he's yeah, he's the kid from Chris Master. He's Chris. Yeah, uh, but it's he's completely he's separate. Chris name. and Chris Master I and just... Noel and. I just completely accepted that his name was Noel. I was like, I know okay, that kid. I don't know his actual name, but there he is. <laughs> I'm glad. Okay, that's good. That's more than I remember. Um, but yeah, he also the- watched this episode in French, like. Yeah, and we watch Chris Master Constantly. in English. It's uh, it's 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 confusing <laughs> switching languages with the show. Um, My girlfriend yeah. hates when I watch the episode in French because she can't hear like understand like she because she because I'm watching it and she's just sitting near near me and she's mad she doesn't know what's going on and I'm like, listen, the show is way better in French. <laughs> it is. It's, 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 this, it is. Is, this was a great episode to see in French. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, okay. The, the, then there, there's, it starts with the simple scene and then you get the Mr. Pigeon stuff and then we're back to, uh, Chris later. Um, you get like, Marinette is like, I just, I love that though. They went with like, oh, he's been akumatized 23 times that like, not that Marinette's excuses are good, but like, we're like bottom of the barrel right now. Yeah. Tiki's, yeah. uh, ragging on her excuses. Um, <laughs> used, used that three times this week, uh. Uh, or used three before this week, but it's the 24th time. I swear we were doing Endless 8. Um, I was so excited for this to be an Endless 8 <laughs> episode, but no. Um, and, uh, it's, it's, but it's just, he, not, no, we're not in a time loop. Hawkmont's just ridiculous and keeps akumatizing the same person. And Mr. Pigeon, of all people. <laughs> uh, yeah, of all the villains. Also, yeah, we saw Mr. the Louvre, so I'm glad to know we're in Paris. We haven't changed we, locations. Yeah. So we did also, not. See, we didn't also, see the Eiffel like, Tower in the present. We've akumatized <laughs> other people into other things, but no, Mr. Pigeon is just Mr. <laughs> Pigeon. He's always Mr. That's, Mr. He's Pigeon. He's always well. Apparently, he'll be something different in the future, so that's good. But um, he's he's just Mr. Pigeon. Yeah, that's all he knows about. Yeah, Eiffel Tower. Watch no Eiffel Tower in the present, but when we. But, we but, get, but, 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 but. The Eiffel Tower is still there in the future, which is the- shocking <laughs> considering how many times it gets destroyed. Right? The, I feel like the, at some point, like, it has to be permanent. The, like- one, the one shot of the future we get with the sh- silhouettes of a Ladybug and Cat, they're standing in front of the Eiffel Tower because, of course, Shocker. they are. Shocker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So the biggest reveal of the episode is that the how Eiffel would Tower you know is... you're in Paris in the future unless you see the Eiffel Tower? <laughs> that's that's definitely their thinking. Uh, the, it, I always the Eiffel Tower is still standing. Yes, it's true. How? This, uh, how? I, guess, I mean, it's definitely been destroyed at least. Uh, oh, a I was times very satisfied and miraculous when they like cut it in half in the opening <laughs> seconds of the episode. Yeah, yeah, I was like, good, good. Why? Well, we were all excited when the Eiffel Tower got Yeah, but destroyed. we're not, like, rooting for it to, to be destroyed. No, no. It's just, like, <laughs> I enjoy, like, I don't know. It was just one of, well, uh, sometimes, like, we're always at the Eiffel Tower. It's nice to, like, we haven't got a, like, real destruction in a while. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh. I'm fine with it. There's no stakes in this show. There's no, so. there, this is true. There's no stakes, so we can just. Well, it's do- like he was like, what if I crush all these people? And I was like, like so, yeah. We'll just, we'll just, we'll yeah. just not be dead. This is a violent time. proclamation from Mr. Pigeon. Um, it was. It was. <laughs> yes. It's like they're, they're the best part about the sequence is how uh, bored Ladybug and Cat are doing this again. Yeah, they're like, yes. well, my favorite's like, they're like, they're like, oh, we only have a minute left. <laughs> like, yeah, this won't take later. long. 
Yeah, they 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 like uh, Lucky Charm and Cataclysm very unenthusiastically, and you just hear the sound effects of their fight later. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, I really like, wanted to know what the Lucky Charm was going to be, though, for her to be so enthusiastic. Did you, did you really want <laughs> no. to know that? No, I wanted someone like tell us what it was like like they did in miracular and it was oh, yeah they're effect. like oh she has a stapler <gasps> of course she's gonna like who, who knows this makes sense does it <laughs> actually the best part was like everyone on their phones and they like didn't care yeah oh, they're yeah. all just uh casually watching it's like oh we've seen this before on, on the news <laughs> um but uh yeah hawk, hawk moth says uh this man is a hopeless case. 24 times I've akumatized <laughs> Mr. Pigeon and not once has he had any success whatsoever. Is he? Okay. So the Do you want to say what the definition? Insanity. Exactly. The definition <laughs> of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Like, Do you Hawk hear Moth, yourself? I don't, Hawk, Hawk Moth, I don't think he's the one who's hopeless. I don't, I don't think this is Mr. Pigeon's fault. Yeah, I could have told you after the first episode of Mr. Pit with Mr. Pigeon that we didn't that we didn't need to see him again. Yeah, Clear, clearly it's the same plan Mr. Pigeon has every time too. He's the same powers, and Liba and Cat just don't even think about it and go and defeat him. So it's the same thing that's happening. Why does he keep akumatizing him if the same thing is happening? Maybe he's just so desperate for like someone with negative emotions. And <laughs> is is Paris like, so happy in this timeline? Like since yeah, when is our world this happy? They've got they've gotten space dumpster. <laughs> okay, okay. What are they yeah. doing to the pigeons though? That's yeah, that's <laughs> right. true. So clearly, clearly. Um, it is oh, okay. This is a good question. We'll get back to space dumpsters in a minute. I have a comment about space dumpsters, but um, is is Gabriel like? Uh, Are you torturing ki- the pigeons? Is he killing a pigeon every time oh, no. to get Mister Pigeon upset so he can he, uh, akumatize him? He's so sad. He's or, like, or is it just like like, like a pack of them? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or is it just naturally happen in Paris that pigeons get upset that someone almost steps on them? Like. A, like what has to happen to a pigeon? I think I think or I mean it's not about the pigeon being upset, it's about uh Mr. Ramier being no, upset. No, I meant like yeah. but what like what has to happen what to is, a pigeon to set him off? I think someone could uh, look at it bad and look at him. Yeah, honestly, that's what I was like. He's, he's set off bad, yeah. So maybe Hawkmoth doesn't have to do anything. Pigeons? Like how upset is he? I'd, I'd like to imagine that Gabriel goes out of his way to upset a pigeon though. He gets like get a BB emotion. gun out and he's like pew. <laughs> he's the he's the vantage point from the tower. He does. He gets the BB <laughs> gun, he opens up one of the windows. Natalie, yeah. I need you to shoot five pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what's happening. I think <laughs> I'm just imagining him being like Natalie, there's a group of pigeons over by the Louvre. Why don't you go run through them for me? <laughs> the thing is, I can't handle this because, like, we have this, and then, like, in Star, we have King Pigeon, and I'm like, this is just dumb. <laughs> That's true. Why? The uh, rich pigeons, yeah. Rich pigeons. Uh, we, <laughs> why are anime shows obsessed with pigeons? Uh, it's, it's, it speaks to I think it's why world. is humanity obsessed with pigeons? I guess because they're always there when we are walking around. Um <laughs> Yeah. It's, yeah, is th- is this what um, Natalie is doing? Is we, la- last episode we learned that she's just sitting by Chloe's rooftop waiting for Marinette to come. Yeah, so this since is- she's not just hanging out on Clo- Chloe's rooftop anymore, she's okay, also she's shooting. Her pigeons. design changed, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> we didn't talk about that. Maybe it could. We got some close-ups of her. We might not have seen that before, but um, so I was like, "What? She looks different." But I also yeah. it, that also happened like eons ago, so yes, I don't know. It's it. It's, it's <laughs> not clear. Um, but yeah, so maybe I mean, this is the busy work that uh, it, Natalie's doing. Um, our, I mean, we've we've said the same uh, thing ten times a season, but we're concerned about Gabriel, right? Like, he's, yeah, for sure. <laughs> this, last episode, he akumatizes the same infant uh, <laughs> for at least like the fourth time. And then this episode, he we learn he's akumatized the same, uh, basically homeless man. I don't is he like uh, what what does he do? Maybe he uh, he probably has some online business so that he can just um, hang out with the pigeons all day. He needs some online business. Where is that coming from? He has a suit. Yeah, that's true. It could. It's probably is it the same suit though. Like it could be all he's wearing. Maybe he owns multiple. Of the same suit. His name is Mr. Pigeon. <laughs> Mr. Mewtwo's a fancy <laughs> I think, person. I think he, like, he, everyone knows him. Yeah, he's a... He, he pro- he's probably like a banker or something. It does look like a banker, yeah. But it, regardless, he's a kumatizing. And he just the same- feeds the pigeons on his lunch break. 
Mm-hmm. Oh. Seems like he's there for more. The, 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 uh, is it a coincidence that my numbers one and two episode ranked this season both have uh, Mr. Pigeon in them? The backwarder, he's also prominently featured. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's obvious that it's because it has Mr. Pigeon. I think yeah. he's the key ingredient to successful Ladybug episodes. Yep, yeah, just 100. Have- <laughs> uh, but he's the same, same guy 24th time um yeah we're I, I feel like this season is being and obviously the biggest thing with Hawkmoth is we learned that he will not be Hawkmoth in the future um yep. so i think like we're clearly on the descent of gabriel arc like um he'll not be the villain anymore after this season right yeah I don't know. We kind of said that about last season. That's the only thing that scares me off that is we said that about last season, but it feels like even like, more so we're on the way down with him right now. We were like super convinced last well, we're season. Even, we're even setting up the new villain, though. That's true. Yes. We are setting so let's, up. Let's talk about that because um, everyone's saying Lila is the new Papillon after this episode. Delaney, is that what you thought when watching the episode? I did, but like, you know, let's say, you know, because... You know, he was like, that means I failed. Not necessarily he could he could succeed. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then and then he wouldn't care anymore. That's he only has one goal. So then but so Lila legitimately hates Ladybug. But there's also on the other side, so if Gabriel succeeds, he gets his wife back. And that leaves Natalie like just hanging. Yeah, so, like, broken. you know, mm-hmm. Natalie would be heartbroken, and then she, I'm sure she would, like, I, that wouldn't shock me. Would I be irritated if that, that's why? Yes. Okay. So you're saying Natalie's still a candidate for you yes. to be the new Papillon. Okay. April, what, what do you think of uh, Lila as Hawk Moth? Um, I could see that as the new Hawk Moth. Because she's, cl- like, one of the things that, like, sort of uh, stuck out to me is that they said, like, oh, like, Hawk Moth, uh, what is it? Time Tiger was like, oh, Hawk Moth is so clever. And I feel <laughs> like we... Because this Hawk Moth. Yeah. <laughs> and so, right? And so, like, which is great because, like, I, I say Gabriel Hawk Moth is like, oh, my gosh, I am so clever. And right? Like, it's like, no, you're dumb. <laughs> and I was like, really? 24th time? Like, and even then, like, a 25th time at the end of this episode um but like but they've done like a really good job at setting up lila as someone that we do not like but she's not not she's not also like not smart girl has called her clever like six times yes mm. so, so, so so april it stood out to you that line of uh, Hawk, the papillon being clever because gabriel mm-hmm. is so stupid um so you're like yes. oh that's well, interesting but then like he like gabriel himself is also called like lila very clever yeah, we've like commented season. before on how like she's not dumb she's really smart Last and podcast, so we called her like uh, way smarter than chloe oh yeah yeah, yeah. and so like and maybe like like it's I just, I see that, like, happening. My only thing is, like, something's gonna have to happen in order for, like, Gabriel, either he succeeds and he gets his his wife back, um, which would then, like, I could see, like, Natalie being, like, the new Hawk Moth, too, though it seems less likely. Like, I like the idea of her, but, like, she also goes along with all of Gabriel's, like, ridiculous plans and so like i need something to happen to her and for her to be like i can do this way better than you and like t- take the reins from him kind of situation so and then we can have a lady villain and i love that yes but she'll uh, probably die because of the peacock miraculous <laughs> well if she gets it's the the butterfly one that's better for her health than uh, maybe keeping does the it other one. does switching uh miraculouses like heal you Probably not, but we have no idea. <laughs> Who could be? Uh, I, I, th- I think this episode makes no like plot progress towards Lila as um, as Papillon. Like, I don't think like her appearance at the end me- is is any plot significance. Like, just because Chris likes her doesn't mean that hinting towards she akumatizes Chris in the future. Anyone could akumatize Chris in the future. What? Um But I think it's like a thematic appearance. It's like after yeah. we talk, after we learn that Hawk Moth isn't Hawk Moth in the future, then Lila appears after. I think that's what people are um, with Chris. Seeing. With Chris. With Chris. And and, and the, just the visual connection of her with Chris, and it was like a different Papillon with Chris. Like logically, there's not really a connection there, but like uh, also, uh, what the heck, Alia? Yeah, I want to know what happens between. Uh, 
like last episode <laughs> and this episode where Ollie is like, I'm 100% going to leave my little sisters and Nino's little brother with Lila. Like what happens for them to be like that trusting? Yeah, pretty sure Ollie has not been a fan of Lila in the past, but uh, yeah, this is eight episodes after the last one. So uh, in the production order, so maybe mm-hmm. uh, look, Lila just, or uh, Ollie just wants a, a night out. If, if, if Lila is who she needs to, <laughs> to, to I feel like there are like much better options for her to go to before she would go to Lila. What options are there? We know 30 people. There's, you know, there's <laughs> <laughs> we know 30 Literally people. Literally everybody. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Julica, Rose, They're Alex. on a date too. Alex, I would yeah, Alex, honestly, yeah. I would be like, Chloe. Yeah. <laughs> Chloe would be a better, ca- okay, that's a good point. <laughs> Chloe would be a better candidate here. She's not doing it, but. No. Uh, Where's Sa- Nora? Sabrina, Sabrina would be a good it's it's uh it was it was random i don't know how much maybe maybe we're missing something i think it was just supposed to be random though what's the big guy's name the big oh. guy's name <laughs> uh we haven't seen them in a while uh i, I ivan and my ivan right? yeah. ivan would be a great babysitter oh ivan, for sure yeah. ivan would be good okay maybe we'll see ivan reacclimatized this season you everyone, gabriel uh, just, like, gabriel's busy. not letting him out yeah he's, <laughs> uh, gabriel yeah gabriel's busy yeah he's i mean they really he was busy everyone was busy too but, yeah, but they don't know that um yeah okay so that was that I, I do i mean this season is just like I, it was weird because we saw lila in the premiere and then we didn't see lila for a few episodes just based on the random order that the sh- season got shown in and we've seen Lila every episode, the last five, six episodes. She's been I hate like, her. constantly there. So it's been really weird. To pre- but basically, it seems like she's supposed to be a, a a constant presence this season. So clearly, we're building towards something with her. I, If I had to guess, I don't think she's going to be like random. She's going to be Poppy on in season four. But I think she'll be like significant. And we're building her towards something. Yes. Yeah, interesting. Maybe not immediately. Like, because I feel like, like, unless something major happens... In order for Hawk Moth to our current Hawk Moth to like a, either achieve his plan or like super fail, that like I I don't see that like the reins of the butterfly miraculous are going to be handed over immediately. Yeah. Well, she also um, really like respects Gabriel right now. Yeah. So we're like not there yet. As we got a comment on last podcast. What if Lila knows what's going on more than she's letting on? Because um, we're like, I was complaining last last podcast about Lila's perspective doesn't make sense in this deal she has with Gabriel. Well, didn't I don't, she like, have? Does didn't? Okay, so like she had a miraculous, didn't she? Right. Or was uh, it, like she had the fox miraculous. Was, no, she she was akumatized to be, and the power well, of she that. lied that she had one. She's yeah. yes, she lied and then she's been akumatized twice and instigated. But she's probably forgotten it, I think. Um but yeah, I, so I I could, I could see Lila like playing some long game here, like like well, also, emphasizing got, she's like, smart so much. So like people like we've gotten to the point in the series where I believe like like people know like what a miraculous is so like that's not shocking but i think considering like all the book crap that happened and everything she probably like knows what's what like if she were to get ladybug cat noir's miraculous what it would what she could do yeah, I don't remember from yeah. those those book episodes, like, what, yeah, if she had an opportunity to have read it, but we could totally get a flashback of, like, her reading it at some point and her knowing stuff, and, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I also wonder if maybe Gabriel did tell Lila, we just don't know that he told her. I think we would have seen that, but it wouldn't make scenes make more sense, because as is, that scene last episode's very mm-hmm. weird. Um, yeah. But also, like... She also doesn't necessarily need to know. It's just like, oh, if he's going to all this trouble, it must be for something. Right. It's possible yeah. she doesn't know specifically, but is planning on like double crossing him. That she hates Ladybug. Yeah. yeah. They, like she could serve that ambition plus try to get ahead of Gabriel, even yeah. if not knowing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could, I could see something like that coming. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens with Lila moving forward here, expecting a lot more from her. This season, but it has been a lot. We could use a break, I think, from as a fandom, we could use a break can, from Lila. Can we have some of those episodes in between where she's not present? No, absolutely not. We have to see all of them at once and then we'll go back. But then we'll, we'll, we'll backtrack and yeah, fill we'll in the blanks. We'll fill in the blanks. Um, that'll, that's how the season's airing. Like a bad uh, lib. 
<laughs> yeah. Should be noted this is the latest episode we've gotten production order wise from the season so far. So um the, but it there's nothing like that happened really, plot wise significant plot wise, I feel like, other than like Hawkmoth learning that he's not Hawkmoth in the future. So like that's, that could I think that's the biggest thing that could set off uh something. I was gonna say I think that's pretty big, like finding that out that he's not Hawkmoth in the future. Yeah, I think mean, as as uh Natalie says, uh, it's not set in stone. So I don't know if the time travel mechanics of uh, timelines of this world mean that this anything we saw here is uh, definitely happening. Um, so it could be meaningless. But we'll, we'll, we'll discuss that at some point here. Let's, let's talk about uh, uh, Bunnix and uh, Alex from the future. Because I feel like she's the highlight of the episode. She comes in um, third of the way into the episode and... Um, she says she's part of their future team. She's the last resort hero. Um, the uh, Alex's watch was a miraculous in camouflage mode, which I think would have landed better if I remembered what the watch was, because that was a while, long time ago. Yes. Um, yeah. It's still, it's still interesting. And um, it, uh, there's fluff. Um, and mm-hmm. uh, Marinette's going to give Alex the money miraculous in the future. There's um, the... The message from that the watch had that leads them to to Alex. Um, Total Star Wars, like yeah, yeah. That's a that's a good one. Um, oh, by the way, they run into Alex and um, Cat falls on top of Ladybug. That's like our big uh, typical shipping mm-hmm. of the. Oh, so you're saying he did it on purpose? They yeah. literally end up in that position constantly. So you're saying they subconsciously want that, so they always. Uh, oh my god! Fall that way. Anyway, yes. we're moving on. Um, just, just to be close to each other, geez. Um, and uh, Alex, Alex says she forgot um how how this ends because she was trapped for a long time. Um, so I guess Time Tiger sent her back at uh, ancient Egypt where she got trapped. Um, after Cat's cataclysm damaged the miraculous, and then how is she's still alive. So I, my interpretation is she got uh icebergs like Ang and ice, so she's yeah. like yeah, um. fr- frozen. Um. But she wasn't really frozen, so I don't. I guess magic froze her. I don't know. And, uh, <laughs> magic. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, and uh, the she had this one memory of uh, the pencil and younger Alex and stuff. That's a plot mechanic. Um, I don't. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't care that much about the time travel stuff, honestly. That like, there's a little bit of an explanation. Like, oh, I forgot what happened. I was trapped. Like that seemed convenient. But whatever. I. Yeah. It, it wasn't that important to me that everything checked out logically. Here. I. I think the thing that um, kind of confused me was the um, like time tagger was sending people back in the past, but like, and then like they would just randomly appear on like a poster or something like that. Yeah. And I was like, I don't understand this. <laughs> like, oh no, it's Nadia on uh, <laughs> somehow on this artifact. Yeah. I just didn't understand like that part or like him, like, spray painting the ground like they never explained this yeah that made no sense that. We'll t- okay we'll, we'll, we'll try to parse that when we okay. get to uh time tagger but yeah and um, then... so i love that bu- uh bunnix called ladybug minibug yes and minibug and chaton kitty for kitten noir chaton noir yeah kitten noir <laughs> that, was, that was the best part and, <laughs> and then, she just and... kept doing it too and which the was best even part better is when Marinette calls him yeah. Kitten Noir. So good. Yeah, Ladybug calls him Chaton twice, too. She just starts calling him that, too. So good. <laughs> That's the best. He, and he, he does not comment on it. No. <laughs> I think he's just happy that she's calling him a nickname, yeah, which is so. kind of a thing, because she never, like, she calls him Kitty. So he's yeah. like, I'm getting another nickname. Like, I always call her Bugaboo or yeah, things like uh, that. So. Bugaboo so. also made a reference to this episode. I'm like, she told you to stop calling her Bugaboo. Nope, Brett. apparently not. Yeah. She doesn't care anymore. I guess <laughs> if if she's calling him Chaton, then this would be the time. But no, uh, still not. It's like there. flirting. In Cat's mind, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then the best, uh, even the best part, Alex's transformation sequence into so good. Bunnix. <laughs> uh, gets bunny ears and has an umbrella. Um, this is because Alice in Wonderland. That's yeah, the, yeah. That's, we're just doing a. a Alice in Wonderland stuff, right? That's an umbrella thing. I don't know my fairy tale stuff, but um, it's not it's the... it's more like a parasol, but like, nah. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it's, but it's it's it's, 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 it's an umbrella. 
the sequence was really cool. I thought it was, yes. it was I'm, I was, I wondering if they're going to give us that cause it'd be just a one episode transformation sequence, but it was, uh, it was, it was really cool. And, um, just seeing Bunnix and Alex, I think in the same stuff in this, this part they're in the Louvre. I think oh, that's really fun. Oh, I was like, it was one of those moments where I almost had a stroke where she, you know, she, she's, she comes out and she's talking, she comes out of the bathroom and I'm like, Oh my God, it's Alex. And then like, she has to detransform, and I'm like, it, "It's Alex, guys." Like, yeah, yeah. And they didn't know it in in the beginning, but it's Alex. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, it's, "It's Alex," it's and like, everyone. I understand that the mask is magic or whatever because they're stupid. But I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Alex is super into it. She's uh, she she's loving that she gets to be by Alex future. has like really strong Arya vibes, and I'm all about it. Arya vibes. Hmm. Not that I think she's going to murder people, but just I like... Mean, I think if you say someone has strong Arya vibes, you mean they're going to murder people. Okay, you know what? You're not wrong. <laughs> I mean, but... she could murder people in the past. She's like a, spunk, a spunky uh, kick butt, you know, short girl, right? Yeah, yes, this, that is what I meant. Thank she you. gets taller, so... She she grows uh, three times her size. Yeah. Yes. Her, <laughs> Is that how growing up works? Because yeah, obviously. I've obviously failed. <laughs> <laughs> Rip. <laughs> oh, no. It's uh, April. You just needed to be in the miraculous universe and you would have oh. uh, been nine feet tall. And lived in Paris and with the Eiffel did. Tower. Well, where else is there in the miraculous universe? I mean, that's, that's true. The only no, nowhere there. else. Uh, New York exists. Speaking of the Miraculous Universe, so we talked to, uh, briefly last podcast, Lady, about the news of the new uh, musical animated movie that's coming. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited for this? Always. I'm just ready for whatever nonsense they're going to do. Okay, good. We're, <laughs> we're excited. Uh, update from uh, Thomas's Twitter. He was not aware that there is an announcement in Paris. Uh <laughs> about the the movie this this weekend or whatever so um didn't even know <laughs> yeah clearly he's not really involved with the movie which uh was what i was afraid of and also jeremy zag is not seems to not be communicating about things also not good so uh the, clearly cl- classic Uh-oh. ladybug uh, everyone's having their stuff together right uh it's it's, it's have we talked cool. about the miraculous ladybug app <laughs> what's what? the app? what's the app there's a game and it's a runner Okay, it's and a runner. So, so it's an endless runner, and you can be. So you have to unlock characters, but you can be like. It's not only can you be Marinette, well, you can be Ladybug and Cat Noir, you can be Marinette and Adrian. They've added all the other heroes, too. Yes. It's good stuff. Okay. We'll look for You get to run through, like, Paris and, like, the school, and it's it's a dub. It's great. Yeah. Okay. This is, that, that seems right. I mean, they're, they're, uh, they're merchandising in every single possible way. Oh, and so. you can run on the wall, which is, you know, a thing. But can you do. run? A, it's not a runner in the Eiffel Tower, though. That's that I would blame. I haven't, I haven't gotten that far yet. I don't oh, know. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe it's a higher level. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be good. Uh, what were we talking about? Oh, Alex's transformation sequence. It was good. Oh, yeah. It was great. Um, yeah. And, uh,. Yeah, I mean we've 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 hit on uh, most of this already, and she she's fighting Time Tiger. Mm-hmm. The time she oh her power is this is probably hole. the most intense fight scene. Like they were like legit punching each other. Yeah, that's that's true. I guess when you're usually adult, you it's just like <laughs> one. It's usually Cat Noir just getting like his butt kicked until like Ladybug saves him. <laughs> but like or you know because like it's not usually hand to hand combat like. That's true. It's yeah. usually like, oh, I'm gonna yo-yo and throw you somewhere. Yeah, no, they were they were going at it. She rabbit holes, so she makes her own power or portals, and then they're just all each portaling and send. Then they start sending each other into the past, or and then times. they're like, yeah, Why? she doesn't have to recharge after. Okay, let's talk about that. People are really upset yeah. about this part. Uh, the- <laughs> She's um, she she can use her power, her rabbit hole, to make as many portals as she wants. Um, she doesn't have to. So they they're transformed and then they detransform. Then they feed their kwamis. Then they transform again in the beginning because you can only use it once. And then um, before you auto detransform. But apparently, if you're an adult, Marinette says slash speculates, um, you can use it as many times as you want. Makes Which sense. does yeah, that doesn't make sense at all. In Why any not? way, shape. Because, so instantly because you're, well, I, okay, maybe that does kind of make sense because, but no, it doesn't because even Hawk Moth uh, in the one episode was like, ha ha ha, you guys still have to like 
like de-transform. You haven't learned your way around that yet. And I was like, okay, so this is something you have to learn how to do. But then apparently we get Bunnix and that is not a thing. And apparently that, just being That's adult, what was bothering me about it. Oh, is the season two finale. So yeah, yeah. Hawk Moth specifically comes up with the thing to get around this by ma- making Mayur um, give him the power to do as many as he wants. Yes. So this was addressed well, before. Clearly then, Hawk Moth can't do he, it as many he also on his doesn't, own. He also doesn't auto detransform after he makes an Akuma. So, or he akumatizes someone because the theory, like, mm. that's his power, right? That's a good point. So, after, like, Ladybug does the Lucky Charm or, um, like, Chat does the Cataclysm, then there's, like, a timer. And he he specifically says in the season two finale, he's like, oh, like, you haven't figured out your way around that yet? Like, and I'm like, okay, well, I mean, obviously you have. But then Bunnix is like, oh, well, I'm an adult, so I can do it as many times oh, as I want. Right. He, and does, not he does have that line. Okay. Yeah. So he, he is that so? This explains as a follow up to that line. Um, so I guess you haven't figured out a way around that equals uh, growing up. Um, Apparently, it should be noted. Well, Marinette just says this. It's unclear if she really knows that this is true or if she's saying like, "Oh, every adult I've seen who's had a uh, miraculous has figured out the the way around this." So she's just speculating. I think that's probably likely. But like, like, I think there's something they're they're doing. Bunnix and Hawkmoth probably did something that she doesn't know what it is yet. Yeah. I feel like Bunnix should just tell them. <laughs> like, good point, good point. But she doesn't want to mess up the timelines. You want to be helpful? Just tell them how they're the way around that, because that's like some of like the big issues that we always come into with like Ladybug and Cat Noir is the fact that like after they use their power once, then the timer starts and they're gonna detransform. So it would be just even more okay. May, I understand why we're not doing it, but I feel like that's just dumb. Why, like, April? You can't influence future events, despite the fact that Alex talked to her future, se- her past self, or yeah, future self, and throughout to, the episode. Well, and even told Lady like told Ladybug and Cat Noir that she's going to get the Miraculous. Like, oh, yeah, and they, they also list, list the villains she's beaten. So really, she didn't care about that. That's true. And then they made Mr. Rat. Yeah. Then, then in, 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 yes, on into, so let's go over that. So this is one of my favorite parts of the episode. Here's the people <laughs> that uh, <laughs> Ladybug and Cat beat in the future. Uh, she's So we can look, Marinette's going to be one heck of a team leader. I like that. I like talking about how like Marinette's going to be great in the future. And she's she, she's beaten Dr. Sadness um these these three that's what that's me (laughs) that's you oh no no (laughs) that's your akumatized form dr sadness yeah where does the where does the doctor come from um i took an online course aka (laughs) i printed out a diploma on the internet Okay, look out for April as Dr. Sadness. Um, you really, you're really just trying to plant your flag on get onto the show again, April. I really you can't am. Do, you're, you're not allowed to do that, okay? They will hear my cries. <laughs> also, that was like clearly <laughs> like an old dude, okay? You can't. You're probably right. That's <laughs> yeah, not the role for you. How about one of the twin the twin queens of the inner world? Maybe you could be one of them. Like, what does that even mean? <laughs> you're right? What's they that? were awesome, though. I love that. Dark side of Maj- Maj- Majestia or whatever Ign- it was. Ignobly a dark side of Majestia, yeah. Is also, a- three, al- three alien invaders was the other one, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I want the, the Twin Queens spinoff because their design was awesome. And um, I don't know who the Igno- Ignoblia. I don't know if that's a reference to something. But, yeah, that was that was pretty. And then, and then Mr. Rat at the end. Yep. Um, and then at the end of the episode, Cat's like, "You should pick a different animal," because he's being a punk. And then um, uh, he's he says, uh, he, "Oh, uh, that rat's pretty cute." So I like that. That's a good uh, time. He just time, picks time. up the rat. <laughs> yeah. That's what he, is it. Is that any worse than picking up a pigeon? No, you're right. Pigeons are also pigeon gross, right? I mean, pigeons are just rats right? with wings, so it doesn't matter. Ooh, yeah. I, that people say that actually. So this is a this is a la- this is a lateral move for. <laughs> For Mr. Ramir here. Is is Mr. Rat's power spreading the plague throughout the world? Oh no, then he gets sent back in time and he's the cause of the Black Plague. Wow. Yep. Oh, who knew? Calling it. Calling it, okay. <laughs> that, probably get that episode. I mean, that's a significant event in European history, so that's that's uh, within the realm of possibility for this show. Was the Eiffel Tower built then? No. So we won't get it. You're not but wrong. They would show us the absence <laughs> of the Eiffel Tower, like where it would be, and we'll just hold that shot for a long time to like show that we're in the past. Or like they're building it like 300 years too early. <laughs> oh yeah, they they show us the building it. Yeah, we'll get that eventually. The <laughs> Eiffel Tower being built, that, that'll be good. Um, 
And uh, since we're on the end of the episode, Kat says, uh, maybe in the future, he'll even agree to go to the movies with me. In fact, it could be in the very near future. And then he st- doesn't he start talking about movie times, too? Like, immediately? Does he really? <laughs> yeah. No, he's like, like, the next showing of whatever he was going to say. <laughs> he's, like, pre-looked it up on his phone. <laughs> Does Kat have every... Daily, in the morning, wakes up, looks at the movie times just in case Ladybug will agree to go to the movies with him? Adrian yes. does, for sure. Yeah, I guess it's Adrian. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Can we talk about, like... Plague trying to like make him feel better would be like, hey, at least like she still talks to you in the future. (laughs) (laughs) Savage, yeah. I forgot about that. That's great. (laughs) Shut up, Plague. (laughs) You don't piss her off enough, (laughs) too. I mean, he's right, honestly. It's a surprise (laughs) (laughs) that they're still in communication. Um, and I guess since we're talking about this, the future future Ladybug and, and Cat, we see the silhouettes of them, and their Ladybug uses them. She communicates with her uh, Lucky Charms for a notebook, writes this apology letter, which is the map of which rune she's going to stand on so that they open the portal up to uh, corresponding, I, we'll talk about that, course, potentially corresponding to that symbol in order to knock the thing out of his hands and defeat him. Yeah. Yeah, did we like this? this I love little... when Hawkmoth's like, it's a trap. And he was like, no. And I was like, y'all are so dumb. <laughs> Hawkmoth, and not, he was like, it might be a trap. Like, this happens every single episode, Hawkmoth. Why, <laughs> why, why can't we understand? Like, if she said she's a lucky charm. Like, yeah. obviously, obviously. The thing that happens after the lucky charm is her <laughs> scheming. Like, stop this falling for this. Literally. <laughs> It says lucky charm out loud. Like, and then she's like, cute. "Well, I guess we give up. I need to write a note to myself." <laughs> Y'all are like, so dumb. It was the most obvious one of those ever. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it, I think this is clever for her though, using her future self to like chart a map as to where to intervene. I, I like that. It was a, yeah. It was well. It was very well executed. Yeah, and uh, the, yeah, it's the, the, and we see the. Just the silhouettes. Would we have liked to have seen actual future Ladybug? I think, I mean, maybe we'll get to see it since they're teasing us with it, but I don't know. Yes, I would have liked to see it. Marinette is my child. Yeah. The problem is they would have had to commit to future designs. That's a big uh, thing to do. That's fair. I I mean, we're committing to movies, Dylan. (laughs) I mean, we're committing to movies. Oh, to the... (laughs) April, I don't know how much of a... Co- so they did announce it <laughs> at Cannes, <laughs> but they could always walk this back, as discussed. So I don't know if we're uh, locked into this movie yet, but we'll see. But we we were just... We just read about how season 30 is already in production. We did so. not read about it. That's, that's fake news. That's not, <laughs> season 5 <laughs> is in production. That's true, though. Yes. Season 5. Um, Thomas, uh, potentially pessimistic on Twitter about the future prospects of Ladybug, so um, we need to at Jeremy Zag telling him to renew this for Season 6 and 7, because yeah. I don't know if that's uh, guaranteed. Um, Jeremy, even- stop. Uh, we, we don't need the chibis, shorts. We don't need... Uh, we honestly don't need this movie. We would much prefer Okay, I like how seven. they're like, we're going to make a movie, but we're not going to have Season 6 or 7, because that makes sense. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I would just we'll like see. for... I, I mean, if you're gonna stop at at season five, then can we at least like do it in such a way where things can wrap up nicely? Because yeah, th- like, maybe this show more than any, we just like constantly put off the the reveal and them dating, mm-hmm. and it's like we really can't just end the show without those things happening. Like you yeah. need to at least let uh, Thomas uh, execute those in the last season. Yeah, yeah, I mean. We'll see. We, we really hope so. We at really least, so. like, started in season, like, started in season four, so we can get, like, a lot of that, like, trying to hide from each other still, like, Adrian and Marinette, that they're Ladybug and Cat. And then in season five, we can have, like, them, like, after they they know about each other and they're yeah. just like a crime but, fighting duo. As, as we've discussed, there's so many things we could do even before the identity reveal. And then, of course, after the reveal. And mm-hmm. we haven't even started those yet. Yeah. So, yeah. And we're like randomly in season three. I say randomly because I don't. Who knows where we are? We don't really <laughs> yeah. Know. It's not good with this. Maybe we'll get the next 10 episodes next week or maybe it'll take until 2020. They just, they just drop them all in one week week dylan i would die <laughs> april are you ready for 20 days of ladybug podcast in a row i'm so ready guys <laughs> april would be here though she would be ready 
April so I don't know if I would be, but April would be ready to, to do it. It's okay. I'll host a couple for you. Solo April solo podcast. They'll just be on. me. They'll just be me and April. That'd be yeah. good. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> okay. Wow, well, we're cutting me out. I see how it is. Okay. Oh, Let's Dylan, see. you are welcome to guest appear. On. Guess- <laughs> <laughs> you can make a cameo, Dylan. Okay, yeah. Make a cameo. Yeah. With the, I'll do the with the Luca impression. No, just you, for, you can't oh, be no? out if you're going to do that. <laughs> well, what about Luca? What if we go to Luca's podcast again? How about that? No. No. Okay. okay. Are you um, going to commit to that? Are we going to what? <laughs> I said, are you going to commit to that? You can't be Do- Dylan at all. That's we did that already. Yeah. It was, <laughs> oh no! Wait, I was still me. I was still podcast, on it, and he loved <laughs> it because he's annoying. You had, oh, of course, you had conversations it. with yourself. That was the that's the most uh, high praise podcast. No, it's actually not, but it's fine. We we liked it internally. <laughs> it's it's okay. What we liked it. There is just you, Dylan. <laughs> Me and several a handful of people okay, in the community okay. liked it too. Because me and April did not like it. <laughs> I mean, it... I enjoyed Dylan like just sitting here and listening to Dylan talk to himself. Like that was I mean, that was, was, was not was sitting there. Let's, okay, let's get back to <laughs> Time oh, Tagger. Yeah, we're talking the, about this episode. The time ta- last thing I want to talk about Time Tagger the villain. Okay, yeah. we didn't really talk about that. So it's uh it's Chris from the future, and um, he let's let's talk about these these symbols. He's like a so he raps and he does like street art. And okay, um, okay, okay. Can we talk about the rapping? Because like he, none of it rhymed. Uh, I think it rhymed in French, but it's it hard did to rhyme tell. in French. Okay, it does not translate well. That's the problem. Okay, okay. I guess if it rhymed in French, that's fine. I don't care. Now. We gotta okay. watch this episode in English because uh, we got need the rhyming. <gasps> yeah, it's gonna be terrible. Oh, but yeah, it, it, it remember uh season 2 episode? It was great. <laughs> it was fantastic. Um so the, uh, my, okay, these these symbols. So he spray paints symbols and then when they come out of the Louvre, um there's a comment that he's created this huge temporal canvas. Um when he's spray painted all these symbols. So I think the symbol is a activation to open up a portal to a specific point in time so like it's like decided where the portal yeah because he would because he would spray it and then he'd like shoot yeah. at somebody yeah he did that at first he sprayed then shot the portal but then he does a bunch of symbols without doing any portals i think the symbol just lets him open a portal i feel like it's uh because that's why ladybug goes to a specific one it's like okay oh uh, here's the here's the cue as to where we'll be to where to portal in this is like the portal coordinates or something i don't know it didn't it wasn't explained in the episode it didn't make even if i'm right about this which i don't know if you guys had any other alternate ideas it still doesn't make the most sense but um it's 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 just thematically furthering this uh you know this like graffiti rapping villain and connecting it to time travel i Um, thought he was just um spray painting on the ground for no reason you thought you just thought it looked cool yeah (laughs) you're my favorite you watch this whole episode and you're like okay i think she's being facetious but i'm not sure i don't think she's being facetious i I was like why does he just keep spray painting the ground oh my god i mean the episode doesn't explain it so oh, it's hard to so that's why i was like he just keeps spray painting the ground okay but also okay so we need more I have, villains that I, need have another, I have another i have another reason why i think that lila is going to end up being the new hawk moth okay. and why it's all connected so remember at the very very beginning of this episode chris is mad because merida and alia won't let him play that rapping game right mm-hmm. and yeah. it was all like gangster rapping and everything like that and so then conveniently on that same day an adult of uh, i say an adult a older version of himself comes back is rapping and spray painting um all over the place and then we also see like Later on, at the very end of the episode, Lila talking to like talking to Chris, and obviously he likes her, so it would make sense that he would then confide in her and say like, you know, oh, I'm really upset about that. And then Lila, through means of through years of manipulation, um, like is like, hey, remember how Alia and Marinette wouldn't let you play that rapping game? But somehow she twi- twisted it and is like, hey, remember how like Marinette or Ladybug and Cat Noir suck? So, and you couldn't play the rapping game. So <laughs> go back also, and talk. She also told him that she made it. 
Yeah. Yes, she said, and he. So yes. that's that's my other reason. It's very like complicated. I realize that. Right. Like <laughs> apparently, that, I didn't pick up that the spray painting <laughs> was what opened. You're focusing the on the more important things, okay? The, exactly. The app, yeah. Um, well, I feel like that's like what I said before. Like, there's no connection the episode presents, but it. It's like it, it all like the, the the app and Lila says the app and he's playing the app. Well, like it all it it's all thematically all thematic. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. It's not like for real. Right. I mean, like maybe there's like something like April outlines that would actually turn it or into we could time call it, Yeah, or we could call it foreshadowing, but like that's For, it. But yeah, the episode is not like presenting that story, you know, it's just like yeah. the pieces like- are there to get it into your mind that yeah. Lila might be connected to to this, yeah. Yeah, which I agree with. I think I think the, the episode wants you to think that. I I'm unsure if we'll subvert it or not um, to come, but yeah. I think she'll be something. Um, let, let's see. Let's uh, other other time tagger things. I thought he was a a fun villain. It's another thing where we don't see the accumulation, and then you learn later um, who it is. I thought that was a good reveal. No, I really I really liked him, and I liked his design. Well, the thing was, I saw a screen cap, and I thought it was Nino. <laughs> Well, right, I, I didn't. I still didn't realize it was. Yeah, well, it, was, it was his younger. It was his brother. Um, I thought it was Nino when they took off the helmet too. I didn't connect it to the kid. I also didn't remember who the kid was in the beginning because they called him a different name. But yeah, <laughs> well, like, I was like, I know that kid. I'm just gonna call him Noel now because I'm reading. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it didn't help that he has a different name. In yeah, that that uh, maybe I would have figured it out if it was the same name. But yeah, it, that, that was the. I guess it's. Oh, it's. I guess it's Nino's brother. Okay, that makes sense. Also, just, Nino's like. Like, the, the DJ. his name could just be Noel in English. I don't understand. Yeah, I think yeah. he's the only one who changes names. So like, I don't... It's so weird, Chris. Like, I th- no, I think it's because... His name is Nino. Didn't we talk about that? We're like, yeah, my name's Nino, and here's my little brother, Chris. Chris. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. I think, I believe, I do not speak French, but I believe Christmas in French is Noel. Something. It is, yes. So okay. they, they need to do the Christmas pun. Chris Master, like Christmas, Chris, and Noel for the Noel and the Christmas in French, yeah. So I think they decided that with the previous episode. Well, that's I get it, but it's dumb. It takes a lot of thought. I think yeah, I think it's not worth it because now he's in another episode. No for no foresight there because now he's in another episode and it's confusing. So yeah, yeah. I mean, they 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 shouldn't. They don't like the dub team is not responsible for knowing that people will watch it in different languages. Like if someone should, if they're only thinking about people watching it in the same language. But also, the show is a special exception because it airs, it premieres in different languages around the world. So we should consider that. Yeah, and also, uh, but like you know, you got like this show is also like it's literally a French show. Mm-hmm. They should yes. just do it all French. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You shouldn't, you didn't need to anglicize the Christmas. And yeah, yeah, it's yeah. dumb. I, I, Literally, I, I, everybody understands that Noel means Christmas. I mean, they could have, you know, they could have worked it in somehow, um, to the, to the thing. I don't know if everyone understands that, but I, I think I feel like I know it. Well, I don't the, mean that Chris, like everyone the Christmas knows special. I feel like there's a song yeah. that had, a bit, yeah, yeah. So I think but I, I just that. meant that everyone like associates Noel with Christmas. That's not necessarily um, that they know that it means Christmas. I, maybe not in isolation. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, but it's it's, it's <laughs> uh, regardless. This is this is this is Chris here. He's, 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 we love Chris. He's he's great. He's the Chris master. <laughs> he is the Chris master. The Chris master. He's, he's also the time tagger. <laughs> time, no, that's not as important. Oh. Um, he really peaked early in his in his, uh, in his villain career as the Chris master. <laughs> In his career as a villain. <laughs> yeah. What, what I mean, else? What Santa else? Santa had to defeat him. That's true. We needed Santa here. We need. We also need outside. He needs outside help every episode. He's a good villain. Mm-hmm. We need a uh, need a uh, Bunnix here. Yeah. Um. What? Well, well, let's let's run through anything else from the episode. Um. The. Uh, I, I think. I think we've. Uh, we 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 didn't talk about the Mister Pigeon stuff since the beginning, but. So I feel like we should circle back. <laughs> but I don't know what else there is to talk about, but it was uh, fantastic. He's 24th time. Um, and uh, the end of the episode. Right, because they're fighting him again at the end. Yeah. Which is so dumb. Like, he- you literally had a fit about it earlier, Hawk Moth, about how this person is useless and it continues to be a failure for you. Hawk Moth then- immediately goes back to that. Immediately. Yeah. Immediate- in therapy. Does what? Yeah, yeah, I feel like he does need therapy because but even Mr. he's Pigeon like, therapy. yeah, he's Mr. like, Pigeon. oh no, did it happen again? Like, I would be mortified if that kept happening to me. <laughs> like, 
yeah, keep yeah. losing my memory, end up in random places in Paris. I mean, that could be fun, but well, this is this is why he's Mr. Rat now. He's go, he's gonna he's gonna lose lose like... uh, his connection with pigeons and his grasp on reality at the yeah, same time. This is yeah. definitely gonna get out of control really quickly. Also. Yeah. Was the list of villains that like Bunnix presented were they like akumatized villains or were they like hardcore villains? Like that's hardcore? what I was thinking. Unclear. I yeah, because I I don't know. And there's aliens there, so it doesn't it have to be like actual? Right. Don't they have to start fighting non akumatized villains like, in the what future? What the heck is the inner world? Like, but what it, are they talking about? I don't I don't know, but I'm here for the twin queens of it. I'm me here too. Spinoff show. I also, I don't know. It just made me like wonder all of these things like i always because i guess like we're we've always been presented with like okay there has to be an akumatized person or i guess a mock person in order for us to like take advantage of our special abilities so ladybug could like 100 percent like like in that episode where marinette's trying to make all the macaroons for her class she could like 100 percent like turn into ladybug and be like lucky charm <laughs> and have 100 macaroons or whatever <laughs> I was See, like, can we imagine, like, they're fighting either. something, and they're like, where's his Akuma? And they're like, there isn't one. It's literally just it. Yeah, the, 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 okay. time, the next time they see an actual this villain. This is right? like... Yeah. This is like some, um, like, My Hero Academia stuff, because people just become villains in the future, if this is true. That So, that's kind of scary like what happens in the world where people can just become like immediate villains like hawk moth or like mr rat and be a big enough threat that people are talking about it once they're defeated yep uh these are good questions we will not answer them today we will oh, <laughs> <I'm> in. <laughs> i'm so upset i've had enough <laughs> The last thing uh, that we didn't hit on is Lady uh, Marinette calling Alia to say she can't come babysit as Ladybug from the the phone. Yes. Um, do we have problems with this? Can you like yes. call her ID like Ladybug? Like, <laughs> <laughs> does Marinette just use the yo yo as her normal cell phone? Oh. And also, obviously, why does Alia not recognize the voice of Ladybug? Of Ladybug on a daily basis. <laughs> yes the, it's i guess the call isn't a problem she thinks it's marinette calling but this emphasizes the point of why do they not understand their voices i guess magic it's but so shouldn't if it's magic that disguises the voice like shouldn't all you not think this is marinette now because she's calling as ladybug and she's using the ladybug phone yes doesn't it have a different number a different service what if uh i guess marinette had to, she's like i'm so tired of having to take out my cell phone like go under the spandex to my pocket take Listen. out the cell phone as as ladybug what? so she like programmed a second number into all these contacts so it's like work and home like uh for as she, <laughs> she stole like, <laughs> all his phone and she programmed the ladybug uh yo-yo as the work number for you know marinette what? as her contact she has stolen all his phone before so she this has. makes sense no but what like, i like to think it's like there's a headcanon in Supergirl that everyone knows Kara is Supergirl and they just let her believe that she's convinced everybody. And I think that's what Alia is doing for Marinette. And she, Alia like figured it out literally. Like, that makes so much more sense if, yeah. she, if that's a reveal later. And I'm just, just like, Alia is like, I have known literally this entire time because you were so dumb. And because I love you so much, I let you believe that you had me fooled. <laughs> I would honestly the show stretches its logic with this like especially with Alia but if not with everyone so Alia often, is the only character who isn't stupid like this like but even Lila, then, Lila she kind of has her moments like there's literally an episode where Alia calls Chloe out for not having the same hair color as Ladybug and I'm like you're literally sitting next to someone with the exact same hairstyle as Ladybug and the exact same hair color. Well, it, but she did know it was Nino, which I think that might like, which like, obviously hello. Yeah. yeah. Not that Nino was very good at hiding it, but like, come on. Yeah, so she knows Nino doesn't know Marinette. I, I think it would be like, I, we like, obviously like when the show's campy, I think it would be a good campy reveal to be like, oh yeah, I knew it all the time. Alia later. Please, that would make me so happy. We're all just like, really funny. That's just yeah. Alia whenever she figures out anyone is like a superhero. She's just like, oh, Adrian's like, oh, pet yeah. more? I yeah, already no, knew she's that. Finally like, yeah. No, like, or finally like Marinette tells her and then like later she, 
And then, like, later she's like, or, like, I like to imagine this, like, obviously it wouldn't go this way, but Mar- she, like, tells, she's like, I'm Ladybug. And then uh, Ollie is like, yeah, I've known forever that you're Ladybug and Adrian's Cat Noir. And then <laughs> Marinette's like, <laughs> That's what? how Marinette knows. Yeah. <laughs> Or Marinette, so com- Marinette comes and tells her, I just found out that Adrian's Cat Noir. And she's like, yeah, I knew that. As we, I, like, was en- I was enjoying you. I was enjoying time. you guys uh, not knowing this whole time. Or like, or that she's like, you didn't know. Yeah, yeah. I thought you knew. I thought. <laughs> you saved the world with him every day. You didn't know. So Yeah, let's do that. Okay. That's, uh, we're writing the season yeah. seven here. If, if it gets uh, picked up, let's do it. Maybe we can do this in season six, just in case season seven doesn't happen. No, we only we only uh, renew the show for two seasons at a time. Clearly, um, maybe I feel like how about season four, April? Why are we accepting this? That? Is this what is I was like, happen. I was like, guys, why don't we do it? Like, we just do it now. <laughs> why like, are we waiting? Please? Yeah, <laughs> I hope so. Okay, I think I, I, we've hit, we've hit everything I've uh, I've written down here. Delaney, anything else from the episode or final thoughts? I just really liked it. It was a really great episode. Time travel episodes are great. Oh, give us your give us your Mayra takes from last step last step. Oh yeah, miraculous or yeah, miraculous. Specifically, what you thought of Mayra randomly popping up and uh, well, it was like Ma. super creepy and she's scary. Like, don't mess yeah. with her. Also, like, I just love how casual it was. Where he was like, it just the episode just starts out and he's it's like, what is it? The purple edged Papillon. Papillon. Yeah, and it's like, hello, oh, well, guys, you're just like this right now. Which I it was really good, and I mean, I. I definitely, you know, I mean, they they do it on purpose, but you know, when that happens, it feels much more like serious. And like when she actually ended up with the uh, B miraculous, I was like, oh god, yeah, yes. And Chloe was so good. Like I was like, I'm so proud of you, Chloe. Great job. Okay, you also love Chloe. That's good. I don't think he's purple edge poppy in the beginning, but um, we see. Don't they talk about it? No, he he so. is. You can see on his outfit that he's the purple edged Pat Pion. I'll have to go back and look for that. I, because when he's purple edged, we'll, he's red. Because that makes we'll fact we'll fact check oh. this. Yeah, um, crimson hawk moth. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Um, okay, <laughs> you 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 liked Miracular Delaney? I really liked Miracular. Did you I like it better or worse than this episode? Better. Ooh. I really enjoyed Ooh. Miracular. Ooh. Yeah, it was crazy. And there was like so much stuff going on. <laughs> but, like I loved it. It was so good. And Chloe was great. And uh, Chloe and Sabrina are great. And anytime they're like, "Let's play dress up," I'm like, "Yes!" <laughs> oh, did you? Were you? Were you uh, getting vibes from Chloe and Sabrina in this episode? Uh, they're so gay; it's ridiculous. Yeah, yes, we about that <laughs> I'm so happy. Like Sabrina is super in love. Like that yes. whole like the montage of them playing together, adorbs and cuddling. They're so cute. It's great. Will they date in the show? Yes. Oh, that's bold. I'd say no, because the show hasn't. You know, first, let's get uh, jo- Rose and Julica officially dating. Let's do that. How was it not obvious already? Yeah. I mean, they clearly are, but they, they have not they haven't said dating. Um, but yeah, we, we'd, we'd hope so. I mean, well, they haven't na- said it about Alia and Nino either. Um, that's a good question. Have they said dating? I mean, they're clearly dating, like, more well, so, so than Rose, Rose and Julica. I know, but, like, they're not, like, showing, like, oh, we're going to the movies. Can you need to babysit, uh, can you babysit Luca? <laughs> Luca for me? <laughs> we're going to the movies. <laughs> Y'all are so annoying. <laughs> I, want, I want Julica to do that. <laughs> Marinette, me and Rose are going to the movies. Can you babysit Luca? Because <laughs> my mom is, or grandma is out of town. <laughs> can you babysit my older adult brother? <laughs> <laughs> he's just being moody sitting in his room he won't eat he's just playing his guitar come on, go babysit him please please go talk to him <laughs> wow that's a setup for a marinette luca date wow let's wow oh man um okay then we want that now i don't even remember what we're talking. okay it's april what are you <laughs> what are your final thoughts on this episode and not miracular uh this episode is is really good i i liked it and enjoyed it a lot um despite all of the stuff that's taking place so glad to know we're still in paris and i look forward to whenever the next random episode in season three will air 
Yes. Uh, potentially, speaking of Julika, potentially would be Reflect Doll. Well, it's the next. We basically are, we've caught up mostly to the, I mean, this is randomly in the future, but five, episode five of the season, it may be Julika getting akumatized again. So that would be good to get that. And I don't know, are they hinting at his, uh, the description may not be canon, but I don't know. Are we hinting at Rose being involved too? That would be fun. Oh my God. If they break up, I'm done. <gasps> I would cry. <laughs> I don't think I can handle it emotionally. They have to get back together at the end of They'll the They definitely episode. get back together at the yeah. end. Yeah. Well, I don't know why you went to them breaking up, but um, Well, that's that would be the reason for the akumatization. Oh, that's why Julika would be upset. Yeah. yeah. Or 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 they can just have a fight. They if they break up, I can't handle it. <laughs> yeah, they can. I would, I would just cry. <laughs> Okay, well, Those are my notes from the episode. Tears, tear, tear stained pages. Yep. The okay. Well, hopefully we'll get this next. Uh, we Hopefully. are. I'll take it if we. It means we're getting Rose and Julica movement. I'll take it. Okay. That's um. Good. This is this was episode twelve of the season, so we're approaching halfway done with season three. Um. So who knows when that will wrap up? Will it be this year? Maybe. I feel we like two, we're getting there. We, yeah, it could happen end of this year. Um. Yeah. So that's been good. glad to get more Ladybug episodes. Wish they weren't together in two batches of two days let's do one a week obviously we're not going to do that but that'd be good that'd be ideal and ideally um, in order in order not crowding around series finales of one of our other main shows but uh, i guess what we have to deal with so um let us know what you thought of um time tagger yes that's this episode in the comments youtube comments overlyanimated.com and our discord at overlyanimated.com slash discord uh, you can support us via Patreon at patreon.com slash overly animated. Thanks to our current patrons, especially our patron podcast, Damien, a.k.a. Diamond Day. And thanks as always to our patron executive producers, Ryan, Steve, Alex, Beatrice, Hugh, and Michael. Um, yes, check out our Star vs. the Force of Evil series finale coverage tomorrow for us. We are hyped for that. So um, I think a lot of overlap with Star and Ladybug fans. So uh, watch watch the Star series finale and check out our podcast on it going to be good and uh, other stuff at overlyanimated.com including my miracular podcast um yeah let us know what you thought of this episode or you thought of our podcast and we will see you for whenever the next episode is who knows thanks for listening guys see you then bye bye, bye.